Good morning, friends. Welcome to uh, Mountain Creek Stables today. So what we're gonna do is get Ember out and do a little vlog with her this morning. Okay, so now with her, she did just get a blanket rub. So I'm actually not riding today because uh, once I get a blanket rub, you kind of want to leave it off for a couple of days. Super cold too, so I hate that. Um, you can get like these shoulder guards and stuff like that, um, but I'm just gonna put her up. Be very aware of that. Um, I do have other blankets if need be, um, but I'm going to get her out uh, and I'm gonna doctor it somewhat. I'm gonna show you kind of what I would do for it um, and then we're gonna do some lunging because she definitely needs some uh, exercise today and one of the things that we're working on is her cadence in the canter and we can do that on the ground as well so uh, come along with me as we go for the day Okay, so she's super fresh this morning because it's like I said, like about 20 degrees and she usually has a blanket on. Um, but um, now what you could do, like I said, is get a shoulder guard for a wither problem. Um, so like a wither rub, but I don't have one. Um, and it's, I've had, kept her on the side, so it's not so bad. Um, and then she's still got some hair. Um, so she's definitely not freshly clipped or anything like that. So if you have a clipped horse, can't do that. Um, and I do have some other blankets, but none of them really fit her great. But you know how sometimes like you'll have stuff for horses and they just don't fit them. So since she is for sale, I'm not planning on buying a new blanket for her just to sell her. So, um, but yeah, so I do need a new blanket probably in that size. So we're gonna see what size she should be. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you about her withers. Uh, again, it's not really bad at all. It's more of like, there's a wither rub beginning. And so definitely want to uh, work on that. I did go ahead and, and doctor it yesterday. So just wanna show you what it looks like. So it kind of looks wettish, like ish, but you can just see there's just a little bit of a blanket rub. It's honestly not bad. A couple days and she'll be okay. I've just put MTG on it. And if anybody knows anything about MTG, you know it's super, super greasy. So you can see there's no, no issue right here and she's still so greasy from the MTG. But yeah, I just kind of trimmed her hair. So when you have a wither rub like this, just trim their hair, do MTG. And I'm gonna pick up new stock today, which is a great barrier, but you won't put something on it that will keep it from getting too, too cold today. But yeah, so she'll just go without a blanket and no riding for a couple of days, um, just cause it's right there on the withers. Um, but I knew it was gonna probably rub cause it didn't really fit her perfectly. Um, but again, I didn't have one. So uh, again, if she was gonna stay here forever, then I would be, um, buying a new one for sure for her so yeah but so all I'm gonna do here is put a little bit more MTG on it this morning and then we're gonna go take a lunge yeah but if you haven't seen her for sale yet she is uh, turned 12 just now uh, 14 to hand uh, kind of more go than whoa pony she's excited to go this morning but you can see how cold it is out here and they've been up all day she loves being outside so uh, but yeah she's a super sweet mare yeah super sweet um, just just raring to go so let's go do a little bit of a lunge put a little MTG on it and then go do a little lunge so I have this MTG plus that I'm gonna put on it um, super great for rain rot stuff like that again I like new stock as well but I'm out of it and new stock is kind of like a creamy so do both for me anyway um, just because again you can see on this side just a little bit there yeah you can see there's like just a little rub there um, there's still hair and everything there that's why like as soon as something happens, you gotta immediately address it, or it could get really bad. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put some MTG on it. Be good to go. So, I'm gonna just put a little bit right up, right up there. Yep, and there we go. And that will help the hair grow to make sure it's healing properly. Look how cold my Feeding's Green Clean is totally frozen. My vegetable oil that I give to the horses is also totally frozen. MTG though is not totally frozen, but that kind of the bottom is. That's why I kind of need to shake it up. But MTG is a lot of oil, but it did not um, freeze completely. But yeah, super cold. So for my gear, I have a rope halter and lead rope from Clinton Anderson down under horsemanship. I did actually win them at a um, at a uh, roundabout tour, walk, walkabout tour 
Um, so super love his methods, and that's actually, his methods are what I use to train my groundwork. So groundwork and beginning exercises riding. Then I also have a stick and string, not his, but the same kind of concept. And then legacy classic equine boots. So that's what we got today to do some lunging. And I'm also gonna do some jumping, show you what she can do. I don't have to ask her like hardly at all um, to canter. She has lots and lots of go, but it's a lot of fun. She actually doesn't have that much go under saddle, but she just has lots of energy, which is great. She's gonna make a great little jumper, great uh, little barrel racer. So that's something someone would like to do with her. So definitely uh, email me at adventuresbykayla at gmail.com if you're interested in her or helping me sponsor her actually at an auction that if she didn't get sold she'd probably go to slaughter possibly or go to a slaughter auction so she was at a uh, kind of a barely riding um, auction and so there's nothing wrong with this horse she just needs work so she just needed work and she's already come along so far so it's really cool how high she can jump that's a three foot jump like nothing I know the story of your life through winter storms and summer skies Please like and subscribe, it really, really helped me out. Uh, and uh, ha have a great ride today.